Welcome to the course of Digital Electronics. In this course, we are going to see the fundamental concept of Digital Electronics. Uh, I will be giving you the basics of all the, uh, you know, the most frequently being used the digital circuits, which will be helpful for you if you are preparing for any competitive exams like GATE, IES, or you are in the semester, or later on, you know, you are, uh, you know, interested in some of the application-based course of digital, right? Uh, in different different universities, uh, be you are in BTEC or MTEC. There are certain courses which are advanced level of digital. So to understand those, you need the digital uh, basics very well, right? So the agenda of this particular course is to tell you the basic concept of digital electronics. Uh, I'll be giving you, you know, this much of basics such that, you know, after listening all these videos, I hope like if you go through the, uh, the previous year question papers of your semester exams or the gate exams, at least the fundamental parts will be clear. So most of the questions you should be able to attempt. So our approach in this particular course will be, we will be learning the co concepts and we will be uh, solving some of the problems which will be application of that particular concepts. So the various chapters that we will be going to talk about in this particular course will be starting with number systems, <coughs> then we will have binary codes, then we will have Boolean algebra, we will have logic gates and then we will have KMAP and we have various combinational circuits various sequencer circuits and data converters. So this syllabus you'll find uh, a common syllabus almost all Indian universities and even if you are preparing for competitive exams, so this is what the syllabus of uh, those exams as well. Depending from university to university, there are some other topics like CMOS, uh, multivibrators, bicycle multivibrators, uh, you know, hazards, TL, these all comes from university to universities. But as far as competitive exam is concerned, uh, like gate IS kind of things, or any semester exam you take, any university you take, this syllabus will be common, right? And uh, let, right, so this is the common. So I have not elaborated again these things very detailed way. Combination circuit, there are again around 10, 12 varieties, like adder, subtractor, multiplexer, demultiplexer, decoders, there are so many varieties. And in various sequencer circuits, I have just written four things, slash, flip-flop, register counters. And each one of these concepts are big in terms of themselves, right? So to learn all these, you need some good amount of time. So without losing any patience, just watch the consequent video uh, sequentially, right? So that you can correlate the things well. And this is the sequence I'll be taking you uh, throughout this course and we'll be ending off by taking in this sequence. So there are eight topics, right? So one to eight. So those all will be dealing in the consequent video. So what is the term digital? Let us have a look on this. What is the meaning of digital? So what happens is signal is something which carries some information. And in a broader sense, signal is classified into two categories. One is the analog signal, one is the digital signal. Well, there are many discussions can be done based on analog and digital signal. But the main feature of analog and digital signal is in analog signal, there are infinite possible amplitudes or the number of possible amplitudes are infinite. For example, if I draw a sinus law signal like this, if I ask, let's say for example, this is 0 volt, this is 5 volts. If I ask how many different possible numbers are there between 0 and 5, answer is infinity. For example, you can say 0 0.1, 0 0.001, 0 0.000125 like this. So if I, it's a real axis between 0 to 5, how many numbers are there in this 0 to 5? There are infinite numbers and each numbers are the possible amplitudes. So the features of the analog signal, it is having infinite possible amplitudes. However, if you come to digital signal, there are only finite number of amplitudes. The number of amplitudes can be 2, 4, 6, 5, 10, whatever it can be, but it will not be infinite. So the basic difference between analog and digital signal is analog signal can have infinite number of amplitudes. A digital signal half can have only finite number of amplitudes. Again, there can be so many discussion, discrete signal, continuous signal, all those discussions are not at all needed for this particular course. So you just remember, digital signal means it is having some finite number of amplitudes. And if I, if I restrict myself the finite number of amplitude to two levels, in a digital signal, I'm saying the number of amplitude will be finite. If I restrict myself, the finite amplitude is only two, then the signal what we get, that is called the binary signal, right? So here I have written analog signal having infinite possible amplitudes and digital signal having finite am number of amplitudes and binary signal is a special case of these digital signals. So I am saying finite means it can be 2, 4, 5, 6, 8, anything. But if I say it is having only two amplitudes, we call this is binary signals. So when I say two amplitudes, it can be low, it can be high, low, high. 
and in general this signal sir happens to be some of the voltage signals okay and generally in the digital electronics whenever we deal regarding voltage low voltage high voltage and we are aware standards so the low voltage generally happens to be 0 volts and the high voltage generally happens to be 5 volts so this happens to be generally 0 volts and this happens to be 5 volts <coughs> I am not saying that you know the voltage cannot be anything beyond this, but in general if no term conditions are given, we assume the voltage are 0 and 5, low voltage corresponds to 0 and high voltage corresponds to 5 volts, okay. And in this context, <laughs> because it is, uh, okay we can deal with 0 and 5, but it will be much more convenient to deal with the situation and to work with the systems. If we give some nickname to this or we are just naming this, what we will be renaming is, if the high high level which is a 5 volt I can call this is logic 1 or simply 1 and low level I can call it is 0 volt which is logic 0 this is 0 so instead of saying 5 volts high if I say it is simply 1 is for high and 0 is for low if such kind of renaming I'm using I call this is positive logic system I say I'm working with positive logic systems if it is reverse if the high is taken to be 0 and low is taken to be 1 I call this is negative logic systems okay I say I, this is negative logic systems I walk with negative logic systems there is a significant difference between positive logic and negative logic systems and one logic system can be obtained from other one by using a concept known as duality by using the duality concept positive logic system expression can be obtained from negative logic and vice versa in the boolean algebra chapters we will have the discussion regarding duality that time we will be knowing actually how to convert expression which is in positive logic into negative logic and vice versa okay now why we are restricting ourselves in our particular course the signal digital signal what will be taking that will be binary signal not other signals and what is the reason behind this one is generally whatever the application will see for digital yeah, you know be it be uh, you know uh, design of multiplexers and gates or gate whatever the you know system design you do so generally those systems they are kind of switches the behavior of the systems are kind of switches switches if switches will on you will get some outputs if switch will be off you will get some outputs if you have many switch depending on which switch is on which is off you will get some kind of output patterns so basically our requirement is we should have some device which should behave like switch and switch have two states which is of it can be on on state it can be in off states and this can be operated using two voltages maybe zero volt can be used for you know switching off uh, something and one volt you know five, five volts the logic one can be used as you know switching on something or vice versa it can happen so because my requirement in this my particular course is like switching behavior i need some device which will work like switch and to operate switch i need two voltages to on the switch to off the switch that's why even though digital signal in broader sense for finite number of amplitudes i restrict myself into only two amplitudes that is called the binary signals right so this is analog signal this is digital signal positive logic and analog systems and these are the contents in the consequent video we are going to start with uh, number systems and followed by all these chapters thank you for watching the video see you in the next video thank you